to uh, Ms. McIndoo and Ms. Rankin, and of course, Ms. Rankin, we promised that we'd give you an opportunity, the two of you, uh, during this last segment to uh, talk about what we indeed consider to be uh, something that is uh, somewhat of a miracle, and that is uh, this Juice Plus. And we've heard about it time and time, and uh, it, I think it's one of the best kept secrets <laughs> in the world. And, okay. and what we wanted to do on this particular show today is to make our audience aware of it because I think that you do have uh, somewhat of an answer to some of the problems that you pointed out. Let's talk about that. Well, I do want to point out, too, it is fruits and vegetable consumption that's important. And mm -hmm. how Juice Plus plays a role in that, it is fruits and vegetables in capsule form. Mm -hmm. It's fruits and vegetables that have been picked at their ripest stage, which mm -hmm. where the nutrients come in those last few days of growing, they have been juiced, the salt, the sugar, the liquid has been taken out. Mm -hmm. So you have a concentrated powder. So it's been encapsulated. So you can take two fruit capsules in the morning and mm -hmm. two vegetable capsules mm -hmm. in the evening. And it would have been like you would have juiced a wide variety of fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. Now this is not to say that if you take Juice Plus, it's a magic pill and it's gonna solve all your ailments. Mm -hmm. That's not what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. We're talking about helping people get on the road to better health and better nutrition. Mm -hmm. And certainly the synergy, I know, Lisa, you feel very strongly mm -hmm. about the synergy mm -hmm. plays a huge part in that. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's talk about that. Then. Okay. Well, um, they have been able to measure 10,000 phytonutrients in an apple, in an orange, in a tomato. Mm -hmm. And really, historically, what we've done is we've pulled some of those out and we've served them up in high levels and said, this is what people need mm -hmm. because we've been able to see the effectiveness of some of those. Mm -hmm. And really, it's the synergy. They all work together. And mm -hmm. so to say that one or two um, you know, are better than the others mm -hmm. and pull them out, really what the data is showing is that it's better to get them all together. Mm -hmm. right. And so that's what Juice Plus provides for mm -hmm. you is it's 17 different fruits and vegetables and grains mm -hmm. that are whole food, that are dehydrated and put into capsule, a convenient capsule form. Mm -hmm. And so it makes it easy for people to help to bridge that gap between what they get and what they should get. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. and, and I'll just say, Dr. Haney, what has set our product apart from any of the products mm -hmm. out there is the research that right. has been ongoing really for the last nine years behind mm -hmm. the product. Mm -hmm. It first started with bioavailability, does the product get in? Yes, we know it gets mm -hmm. into the bloodstream and work on a cellular mm -hmm. level. Mm -hmm. Then right. we addressed the immune system. It boosted mm -hmm. the immune system. That was proven not only in this mm -hmm. country but in other countries. Mm -hmm. uh, DNA, uh, if we can literally repair damaged a or, or the damaged DNA or mm -hmm. reduce mm -hmm. the damage mm -hmm. right. to our DNA, how exciting can that be mm -hmm. right. uh, for an individual and for a family? Mm -hmm. And then. Certainly now, the most in the last two to three years, other uh, institutions, MD Anderson, mm -hmm. are coming to us. Mm -hmm. there, there is a study being done right here in Nashville with Vanderbilt University, mm -hmm. uh, all looking at how Juice Plus, fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. in capsule form, plays a role in the real mm -hmm. health of the people in this country, mm -hmm. and really now globally. Uh, right. it's, we are operating in 30 countries around the mm -hmm. world right now, and it's certainly it's all about educating people mm -hmm that there is something that they can do to be mm -hmm. proactive mm -hmm. in their health care. Uh, Ms. McIndoo, what would you say to the uh, state of Tennessee this morning in terms <laughs> of uh, dealing with ten care and all of the problems that we have and, and, and that that might be a solution to what they're doing? Right. Uh, not a complete solution, but a partial right. solution in terms of dealing with some of these things. Right. Well, I, I would say that, you know, if we get back to the basics, if we get back to the garden, um, we are certainly going to reduce the amount of sickness that we have going on. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it could revolutionize the medical community mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, the amount of money that we have to spend. And certainly prevention is much easier. I mean, we've always heard, you know, growing up, mm -hmm. an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, it doesn't relate any better than today, mm -hmm. you know. And can I just say that our own mayor uh, has set up a health council. I was reading just recently, mm -hmm. uh, early this year, it was a focus to get Nashville healthier mm -hmm. and, right. and to uh, get us thinking more on healthy uh, and just get us in a, in a number of ways healthier. Mm -hmm. So there is a thrust here in our own community mm -hmm. to get a focus on, on, healthy, on healthy activities, mm -hmm. healthy attitudes, mm -hmm. and right. being proactive again, mm -hmm. as I've said earlier. Very right. good. And we need to take control mm -hmm. of our wellness. Okay. Because nobody else is going to do it for us. We've got a, a minute and 40 seconds, a minute for you, a half minute for you, and a half minute for you. Let's, what, what, what would you say to our audience this morning as a parting word? 
Well, I would say that uh, get educated. You know, uh, certainly after this program, you're going to be more aware. That's a part of it. You're going to pay more attention to the things that not only that you eat, but that you do. And uh, we're, you know, people who are looking to be a part of a, an ongoing concern where they want to educate and mm -hmm. certainly uh, inform others, uh, certainly could join those kind of ranks, mm -hmm. uh, being um, excited about telling others that they can take control of their health, and that's really what we've been doing. Very good. Ms. McIntyre. Right. Well, I can just say, uh, again, how much it has helped mm -hmm. our family and uh, helped the children in school. Their, their grades have improved. Um, and that's what we're seeing. We have a, a children's health study that's going on right now where we're studying health, the health of children uh, after having added fruits and vegetables to their diet. And we're seeing uh, great gains in um, educational performance, in physical performance, those types of issues. Um, children aren't as sick and they're not having to take as many medications. So the data is there. And it's just a matter of parents and adults and everyone getting a hold of this information and, and getting and tapping into the process. Very good. And let me, over the last 10 seconds that we have, uh, ladies, thank the two of you for coming by and giving us that thank excellent you. information about this very, very important nutritional product, but more important, giving us information about wellness and how to uh, stay well and how to get well. And of course, uh, we'll be back with our audience uh, next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.